tell him what you need, tell him what you need, babe, tell him what you need. Jesus on the main line, tell him what you need. Gotta call him up and tell him what you need. He will come in a hurry, you gotta tell him what you need. Tell him what you need, babe, tell him what you need. He will come in a hurry, you gotta tell him what you need. Call him up and tell him what you need. Tell him what you need. If you're sick and you can't get well, tell him what you need. Call him up and tell him what you need. You gotta ring, ring that telephone. Tell him what you need. Tell him what you need, babe. Tell him what you need. You gotta ring, ring that telephone. Tell him what you need. Call him up and tell him what you need. A little bit of Jesus on the main line on this lovely, I believe it's an 1890s Fairbanks, AC Fairbanks, Companion C banjo. There's the stamp right there. Now that stamp is the only marking in the instrument. It looks like it's a maple rim and a maple dowel. I don't believe that neck is maple. I think that neck is a mahogany neck. Uh, y'all, if I can't tell, y'all probably can't, but... Really nice. Looks like it has a true ebony fingerboard. And as is fairly typical of these sort of mid-range instruments, it's got a faux ebony overlay on the peg head. And it has, a, I believe that's an also a faux ebony heel cap. I don't believe that's true ebony, but it's nice. It's in good shape. There's no cracks. We have the original celluloid tuners on this instrument. Just the plain celluloid, nothing fancy. Um, this, this one matches. Really nice little banjo. Looks like it has all the original hardware on it. Typical, um, you know, spun over rim on this. We've got the original celluloid tailpiece, and this is a, an original antique maple bridge. Not a bridge. This is not what it would have shipped on this banjo, but but that is an old bridge from the early 1900s. It's an original antique maple bridge, and it has looks that might be the original calfskin hide on it. This banjo was not played a lot. You can tell that because there's hardly any any finger grooves in the fingerboard. It's just smooth, spit shiny polish. Um, I couldn't find a whole lot of information on this this um, Companion C model. One way you can tell it's a Fairbanks or a Fairbanks and coal is it has that little bracket shoe type of. Uh, fastener there that holds, you know, keeps the neck joint tight. So that's an indicator of a, either Fairbanks and coal or Fairbanks. Um, but I, I do believe that this is not Fairbanks and coal. I think this is 1890s. I think this is this is when Fairbanks and coal went their separate ways. I always do point out this has hex screws inside or hex bolts inside as opposed to the slotted bolts. That indicates a slightly higher end instrument. Um, anyhow, yeah, we're in good shape here. Let's let's play a little bit more. Oh, let's let's take a closer look at that. That's different on different instruments. That's a nice banjo. It's real lightweight and there's nothing to it. It's sort of a cheaper cheaper instrument. <laughs> Down, 
suitcase And all of my dirty clothes Policeman comes around here tonight Whoop. Tell him I'm sleeping out of doors Nice sounding little banjo for, for there not being that much to it. It's definitely a cheaper instrument, but this is a really good cheap banjo. Not a bit of buzz on it. Anyhow, I guess that's all I wanted to show you. Um, if you all appreciate this type of video, if you learned something, if you like this kind of material, please do give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And what the best thing you can do for me is if you share this video, share it on social media. Okay, thanks a lot. Thanks for looking.